welcome back. Today we're talking about snoots. Not snooty people, but snoots that go on lights. These are good snoots. Very good snoots. So, the purpose of a snoot is to take a Normally, okay, this is a light bulb on the end of a AD200, and it, it just emits light in all directions. Now, a, a parabolic just kind of fans it out this way, but a snoot is a tube Give me one of these, okay. It's a, it's a tube, and when you put it on here, it, may, it makes a very, very narrow beam of light. So the light can only go in a, in a very straight line, so you can aim it just on someone's face or something like that, and nothing else. So that's kind of cool for focusing a light, for, it's like a little spotlight, just right on one spot that you want. So today I'm going to do some things with snoots. So they come in different kinds. This is one. I'm going to put the links down below. This is a second kind that they make. They both, the ends are kind of the same size and there's a little honeycomb on the end, a grid that keeps it going straight. So I'm going to use this one for, for now. This is a Godox AD200, 200 watt second light. And it's wireless, so it's going to connect to my Godox X1 flash trigger. And today I'm using a small 6400 APS-C camera by Sony. And we're going to take some pictures here in the this beautiful uh, clearing in the jungle. And uh, I'm going to have the sunlight backlighting her, just like you see it doing to us right now. So there's already going to be an edge light around coming from the back from the sun. So the only thing I want to do is put a little more emphasis on the face and that's it. So this is a really simple, cool way to have some creative shots where you don't just light everything up. You're just lighting very specific. And you can have several of these. I've got three AD200s with me right now. Um, and I could, if I wanted to, light up little spots like here or here or here. So you can selectively light only the spots that you want lit up and not everything, which is really good for being creative. So. Um, Let's get going. So go stand in the light. And turn around, face me. As soon as the light hits your head, back up, back up. Good, right there. Okay, so as you can see, my face and her face, which are facing you, are really dark. She has nice light around her from the back. But we need to light up her face a little bit. Let me zoom in so you can see the situation here. See, her face is pretty dark. So we want some light on that. Okay, so here we go. Okay, that's without the light. Nice. So that turned out really cool. Something simple like this, just a handheld light. I could use a light stand, so I don't have to worry, but I mean, it's so much more portable to just hold the light and take a picture, and then you move to the next spot, hold the light, take a picture. Just ask the person if the light is aiming right at them. You can kind of tell if it's aiming right at you, because if it's off a little bit, it's obviously not gonna work. But it's so simple. Look at how light and portable this is. A little lightweight, a uh, 6000 series camera, an AD200, and you, this is, this is your whole lighting setup. And you can just aim it right at their face. I mean, it's just this really cool effect. She has the light around her, and then I fill in the shadows with this, and it's that simple. If you don't have a snoot, you can just use a piece of paper and a pinch. That's what I did a while ago. I just ripped a page out of a magazine, rolled it up, and stuck it around the bulb, which is what I used to get these shots. Hey, it worked. There's always a way to do it. So that's my little tip for today is using snoots. I hope you stay tuned to the channel for all kinds of cool stuff that's going to inspire you, give you ideas, and make you love photography even more. See you in the next video. Whoa.